Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spank, and today I'm playing World to the West, aka Manifest Destiny, aka is is it based on Journey to the East or Journey to the West? I can never remember which way it goes. Who knows? I I, I don't know. I, I don't. Know. Dad. Okay, so I'm assuming I play as this young. Ooh, that, that was surprising. This young wizard-looking girl. Chasing after her dad. It's a fairly clean animation style. I was honestly expecting 2D pixel art. E even up to the point where I saw that opening, I was like, okay, cut to the 2D pixel. Yeah. Mainly because I think that's what the thumbnail for the game was. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Lumina. What the fuck is this nutcase doing? Just stood out here in the rain. Okay, she's saying two. You're late, sister. Father was very disappointed that he didn't get to speak with you before he... Yep, okay, alright. Alright. I, I can figure this out. Uh, okay, yeah. Alright, fuck off. I think... Is this a puzzle? I don't know. The, the music's picked up thusly. Alright. I'm learning that two means the the B button on my controller. If you if you're confused as to why it says that, it's not it's not indicating I should do two of something. I I don't know why. Unlike every other game, it can't you know just say B or circle. I wouldn't be confused if they had PS4 controller options. Is that a foreign language? A made-up language, probably, or is that is that just fancy English? Does is that does that just say like Harlinger? It's hard to say. <gasps> a beverage and children. <gasps> Lumina, Lumina, me and Shalv found the teleporter. I bet it'll take us to the tower, and then we can surprise Dad. We're gonna see Dad. We're gonna see Dad. You should come with us. Yeah, come with us. Dad will be so impressed. But Ohm said that Ohm is the unit of resistance. I think. Yeah. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. You're not going to tell, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so all these people can blink. Meaning that that thing she's got in her back, on her back isn't what allows her to do that. Which means she'll probably use it for combat. I suspect. Ah, oh, went back outside, didn't I? Idiot. I like the look of that axe in the background. I kind of want it. There's a chance this is a puzzle game. I'm thinking there'll be combat elements coming into it, though. There's the teleporter. Hmm, deactivated. Yeah, got to activate it. I'm guessing I activate it just by pushing these blocks in the wall. Yeah, seems evident. Okay, I have to push them. I can't grab and drag. It's good to explore these things early on. It may, it it's puts your brain in the correct mood for solving the puzzles later. Not too slow pushing them. Yeah, of course I did it. I'm a genius. Now let's investigate this axe. Damn it, it's nothing. You can only teleport on a 2D plane. Nope, you can teleport downstairs. So that, that that breaks certain aspects of the game. Oh no, it didn't work. Fix it. Uh, hey, stop. This way is too dangerous. Get off that platform right now. Oh, come on, Ohm. We just want to see Dad. You don't even know where this teleporter goes. It's not going to take you to Dad. It could take you anywhere. Thank goodness it didn't work. Now get down from there. And then suddenly it works. And I'm teleported to God only knows where. Ah, she's she's all alone now. Oh no, this isn't good. This game's called World to the West. I know I said that earlier, but I'm pretty sure I gave it the wrong name. And it broke. And we're now stuck. God only knows where. I'm guessing... Uh, Solomon has decreed that on behalf of the 
Tesla Mansa expedition. We'll record our findings for generations to follow. The land so far is foreign, but holds great promise. We hope to learn much before we are to return back home. Grandpa Solomon, he came here? I've never heard of this place before, and it's like no one's been here in ages. And oh, tell a staff. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. Thank you. Give me that. Alright, so I've, I've now gained the use of two buttons. It's quite a slow attack. It has more range than it seems. It takes a while to be able to do it again. That's my summation. Ah, what treasures lie now. I'm guessing that's health at the top left. A rather jaunty affair. Is it five hits? Maybe it's ten? It's hard to say. Ah, oh God, what's going on? Our foothold is established and we are prepared to venture further into the forests. Initial scouting has confirmed large stone structures guarded by metallic entities wielding impressive electrical power. This is most promising. Yeah, okay. So I'm thinking robots. Nope, just more squirrels. Hey, you didn't expect that, did you? You bastards. Five hits, then. I, I saw the health plant in the background. I knew I'd be fine. So one way. <gasps> oh my. A Gru in the wild? Not like those back home. Oh my. Hi there. Good boy? Not a good boy? Just stay calm. I kind of forgot all the buttons there. Just run up and hit it. Being able to teleport is quite an advantage. It's it's not like it's not nightcrawler levels or like Mr. Shifty levels of teleporting, but it's still still quite good. There's this fairly hefty cooldown on it. I think it's exactly time so that teleporting and running are about the same speed. No. Alright, come on, what's the story? The temple of... uh-oh. Something in my mind told me to ignore that sign. I had a... just had a general premonition of it. Ah, uh, there's no way we can get through here. This hole is way too small. But Herkima said there was something here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and guess that I'm going to use my teleport abilities to get through there. And they're like the protagonists of the game. Well, a tree. <gasps> Really? Don't they need sunlight? There's a hole. Oh no, are we close to the surface? Be careful if you fall, it won't hit the ground for hours. Wait, light's coming from above. This can't be right, look again. I'm looking right at it. Oh, I've actually changed characters. I've got less health, um, and I have no abilities. Alright. Right, let's do something to this tree. Uh... The way they're talking makes me think that they're used to a world of upside down or general underground living. Or they don't know how gravity works. Alright, total dead end. I share it, equip, uh, 37 of whatever with him. Alright, we're not all short, it's just this guy. Yep, sunlight's come down from a crack in the stone, that's impossible. You would have fallen upwards right away. But what if we're not on the... Shh, don't say that. Are you nuts? The big kids will hear, hear you and kick us out. Did you really see a tree in sunlight? Are we in a little lamplight situation? Is that, is that what's happening here? Okay. I suspect I'm being gated off from, from enemies at this interval because I have no combat abilities. I feel like I'm about to gain them. Alright. There are a bunch of miners. In both senses of the word. Where's your shovel, kid? You lose your shovel again? Um, yeah. To the shovel emporium. I'll just... Okay. Uh, hi. Hi, Flint. Do you have a shovel I can have? Uh, what? Who is this? I can't see over these boxes. 
is Norse or Knaus or Kaus. No word, no. Oh, okay. Here you go then. Be careful of it. Shovels are the pride of Motorland, you know. Motorland. Well, to the west. Test of that. Trying to figure out if there's some greater theme here I'm not seeing. Try to use your shovel to get out of here. Some parts of the cave floor is softer than others. Quickly. Alright. I just want to dig. D dig under stuff. You know, I think I'd have figured it out. I I'm guessing eventually this we're going to band together and it's going to be a puzzle get a sort of a puzzle solving game where I have all three characters at once. That's my guess. Yeah, I didn't know what was I could... Yeah, this is the dead end. The game kind of told me to go up there, but I wanted to go down here first. All right, babe. It was just a health pool. It wasn't worth it. You can die alone in here. Even though we, we can all dig. I'm the only one small enough to, to burrow, I believe. I'm now remembering the mole claws from Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. And they were particularly cool. You think, you know, you're just going to get shovels and then you get mole claws. That was a big factor of Minish Cap, wasn't it? You'd get, they'd have like the standard items, but they'd be somehow cooler. Like, instead of the rock's feather, it was the rock's cape and you could glide. Unrelated note, probably going to play Minish Cap at some point. Don't know why I'm saying probably, it's an almost certainty. Um, can I actually dig anywhere from here? No. Can I just break that down? Can I dig it down? Not yet. I could jump down here, but it looks bad. Oh god, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> hey kid, shouldn't you be working? Now what would the great Tychoon say if he knew that some of his workers were so ungrateful that they couldn't even pull a 16 hour shift? Fucking 16 hour shift, fuck that. Trying to dig for more than one or two hours at a time is not impossible. I don't know if I should tell you this, but I've seen a way up to the surface and it was above us. I don't think we're on the moon after all. Really? Tychoon feeds you, he clothes you, and you repay him with lies. But I really, I always knew you were a troublemaker kid. I'll show you what happens to troublemakers around here. Hey everyone. Get over here. This kid is trying to tell you all that we're not on the moon. That we're that we're not mining moon rock at all. Don't listen to this little swindler. We don't tolerate that kind of talk around here. So to make sure all of you are understanding that, I'm kicking this kid out to the grooves. The rest of you get back to work. The moon rock won't dig itself. Throw this deadbeat out of here. He's dressed a bit like Mario, isn't he? They didn't really throw him out, did they? But I, I suspect I kind of have to go this way. Uh, perhaps not. Back this way? And then the doors close? Or... Or logically, I should go to that big hole if I go anywhere. So right, I can fight now. Grooves aren't a problem for me. But I can't jump. These? No, they're nothing. So far, this this feels sort of similar to what could be a good game, but but not quite. Like if you wrote down all the all the elements on paper, you'd say that yes, that compares to other good games, but in playing it, it's not quite. I don't think I can kill these. Now here's why I'm thinking that. They didn't have any health, and when I killed one as the girl, it had health. I reckon I should uh, try not to, t to wake them up, yep. He, he even says as much. I wonder if they can actually do anything while I'm underground. Probably not. That was a horrendous noise. And this is not a dead end. 
good. Ah, yeah, I bet he can't use that sort of jump pad, but the other girl can. You boy, I can't get through there, damn it. Yep, he can't use it. All right. There was something down this way as well. Probably a switch that would open that door, if I had to guess, which I do. Well, I don't actually. Nope, just just more route. I'm definitely going to meet the girl at some point, aren't I? It's, it's a matter of when, not if. Fuck it. Lego Star Wars style there, just, just taking a bit of that. Alright. I could have probably killed that one. The fact that it's albino makes me think it's weaker somehow. Again, based on nothing, but... I guess even big kids aren't safe from, from grooves. How does he know it was a big kid? That dynamite sure would be useful to have, but I can't swim. Maybe I'll come back later. Bullshit, you're finding your way to that dynamite right now. Apart from anything else, it's goddamn dynamite. Yeah, I can only stun him, can't I? Probably, probably should have just gone quietly past him. Ah, cheeky. There's a spider. Hideous. Oi, dickhead. Why'd I stun him there? That's useless. Come at me. Bye. Dynamite? No. To can pan pan panra. <laughs> To can Panra, use five. Okay, five seems to correlate to, quite sensibly, I will say, the right stick. Alright, let's get out of here. Yep, wasted endeavour entirely. I gained nothing from it. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah, the, uh, the stealth elements are massively sort of taken aback by the ability to just hit things with a shovel. I'd like that to be the box quote for this game, ideally. This, no. Now, now that I think about it, it's just not good. This door's huge. Great input. Oh, oh. Greetings, traveller. You are very brave to have... Oh, you're not... Oh. You're the small boy. Never mind the grand gestures then. Who are you? A very patient person, that's who. Do you know how long I've been here? Seven years. A really long t uh, that's what you said. Anyway, behold, boy, the structures are many mysteries. Uh, yep. Why does it have my face on it? These are all the characters you get, isn't it? It's, it's clear that's what it will be. Mesmerizing Mercenary. Thing is, the game Trine threw all three characters together. I'm not I'm not 100% sure because I haven't played it for a while, but pretty quickly. Thank you for being here so early. It's never too early when there's m money involved, Mr. Tycoon. Yes, exactly. That's exactly the kind of thinking that made me my exorbitant amount of money, as you probably know. Well, time is money, I assume. So what was it you wanted me to retrieve? I received word from one of my assistants that one of my the abandoned. Uh, okay, so I'm I'm playing as this mercenary. I'm just gonna cut to the chase here. Oh, there's actual actual stuff going. There's a map now. It felt like there should be a world map. Uh, all right, so she has the ability to run so far. Yes, I've already learned that. I also know that button three is the X button. I'm kind of just sort of guessing my way out of this mansion. I feel like this will be it. I skipped all the dialogue because I felt like I knew what he was going to say. Map. Use the map. Alright. Seven is, of course, the back button. That makes sense. Weirdly, if they hadn't put any buttons to it, I would have figured out all the buttons anyway. Scarf. Stun screeches. Okay, yeah. Fuck you. So so far, the, the the girl from the from the teleporty place, by far and away the most combat ready. She could actually kill enemies, and she can teleport. Now running is not bad, but teleporting is better, isn't it?
Um, okay. So I'm assuming she's going to have some ability of her own. Ah, is that a map piece or is it a key? It was a key. I was going to say, I, I assume she'll have some sort of ability. The other kid can dig. He'll probably get his dynamite soon enough. The girl can teleport. What's her specialty? She can run, which it's not much, is it? Don't get me wrong. I like the speed I've attained. Ah, she can grapple. Knew it. Behold, boy, the structure of many mysteries. Why does that have my face on it? Why indeed? Perhaps it's because you're meant for great thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hello. I bet her face is on it as well. Here already. I mean, ah, greetings, traveller. You are very brave to have... Oh, you save it, old woman. I'm not here for a speech. What? Oh, I swear you whippersnappers these days. Can't even respect a proper introduction. Uh, yep, look at the stat, the thing. I'm guessing, guessing what she said. Remarkable. All right, old bag on tree. Why is my face here? Uh, yep, foretold. My fellows, never seen them before. I'm right here. Oh, there are you. I'm Knaus. Still not convinced how to pronounce that. Klaus would have been fine. He's your new companion. My what now? Your companion, as was foretold. The four companions will journey to... Forget it! Yes, there are four faces there. I can, I can confirm. I can't really tell which one this girl is. If I had to guess, she's the, the second from the bottom. Which means the last one to find is a man in a pot pie hat. I've got an artifact to find. Yep. Sorry, kid, you're on your own. Have a nice day. Now to find that artifact. Uh, yep, let's just whip that over there. Are there four entrances to this? Ah, oh, there is, isn't there? Can I just take him with me? He seems like he might be useful. Alright, that's dead end. Do you think Teleport Girl will, will pour in from that era? I can't actually rem remember how we left her. Was she... No, I, I genuinely can't remember. It was like 15 minutes ago and I've already forgotten. Ah. I wasn't even... Ho I was holding left and somehow it made me walk back in there. My barrack. Oh, it's this again. Probably means I need all four people to deal with it. I dislike it when, when games give you puzzles like this. Well, drat. The key's over there, but the slab's in the way. Maybe. Uh, well, drat. Okay. What did she actually just say after maybe? Because I didn't read it. It, it disappeared. Nope, not going to work. Really? Why, why even have that as an option? Okay, I still need that key. Maybe I will. Boom. Ah, you control them all separately and they're all on screen at once. Okay. I thought it would be a swap. Uh, like, a, like in Lego. No, not like in Lego because it doesn't matter. Like Trine. Trine is my only reference point for this game. Uh, Alright, it's a co-op puzzle. I don't think this is a co-op game, though. I feel if you're going to throw co-op puzzles in there, make it at least semi-co-op. It'd be kind of hard to do with the introductions, though, wouldn't it? Alright. Teleport. Um. Right. How does this work? Um. Five and six. Ah, alright, it's the bumper buttons. Obviously, perfect sense. Uh, so he can get in there and push it. Oh my god. I have to go back to this each time. To Wait, do I? I First, what does that do? It's a turnip. That was nothing. I can dig through this whole area. Right. Nope. Nope. I have to be in this circle to, to change between characters. That 
That is the most egregious thing I've ever, ever come across. That that either has to change or that's like just game over. Feels like it's gonna take forever just to move them around. Oh for fuck's sake, love. That dynamic that dynamic is crap. The the scarf and the jumping nonsense. Every new area you go to as well. Fucking you walk in holding left, and if you hold that button down, it makes you walk back. It's a terrible design. I I just can't be bothered, you know. This I've just I've just started to get to the like the the meat of this game. If I had to describe it, I'd say it's like you're eating a big long baguette, and the meat stops shy of the end of the baguette. So the first few bites are just crust, and and then you start getting to the the thinner bits of meat. That's where I'm at right now. I don't know what, what the rest of this sandwich holds for me. Maybe it's a good solid bit of meat. Maybe, maybe it just continues at the same thickness. This metaphor is not great, um, like the sandwich I described. Either way, that was World to the West. Kind of boring, to be honest. It didn't really grab me. None of, none of the characters I've been so far felt fun to be as. I keep comparing it to Trine. In Trine it was fun to be a lot of the characters to a certain extent and the puzzles are all physics based which is much better than just this. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.